Try it with Popeye the Sailor Man. Well, well, look at that. There's a little girl dragging home from school. My goodness, how slowly she's walking. No zip, no speed. But just listen to that. Old Keach ought to be able to catch up with her. Why, hello there, little girl. I just wondered why you were walking so slowly. Oh, I don't know. Guess I walk as fast as I feel like walking. Who mm-hmm. sort of tires me out? Well, gee, that's too bad. Say, did you ever hear old Popeye on the radio? Yes, indeed. Isn't he a funny old fellow? Well, sure he's funny, but that's not the point. I'd like to know why you don't eat his favorite cereal. Now, if you eat wheat Tina pretty often, I don't think school would tire you at all. Why, that delicious hot brown wheat cereal puts zip into your whole body. Helps you get a big kick out of school and play. And it's a grand tasting cereal, too. Now, why don't you try wheat Tina for a while? I'll bet you walk home from school so fast, I'll never catch up with you. Now, will you try it? Uh, you just try to stop me from trying wheat Tina. Goodbye! <laughs> Now, since Mady's been going to school, he started reading about storybook characters that are all new to him. One day he's fighting imaginary Indians, and the next he's off with King Arthur to his court, or out hunting dragons and giants. Mady, Wimpy, and Popeye have had supper at Olive's, and as it's getting late, Popeye thinks it's about time to start for home. Avast there, Mady. Hold off fighting them imaginary giants and gets get fixed to shove off. Maybe sees giants and Wimpy sees hamburgers, and between the two, they give me the jitters. Come, maybe we must stick together. They are running us down. All right, Wimpy, let's plant a beanstalk and go up and catch some giants. Now, don't you go a tampering with my potted plants. We do not tamper. We make magic. Hand me the geranium, lad. Gee whiz, Wimpy, what are you going to do? Give the geranium some of Popeye's favorite cereal. Well, of all the crazy notions. Its magic power will transform your geranium into a giant beast. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Go ahead, Wimpy. One bowl for the geranium coming up. Word on careful, Wimpy. Behold, it grows apace. For pity's sake, I'm a-seeing things. I'm a-going crazy. That's all right, Olive. This is a crazy idea. Feed it some more, Wimpy, and let's see what happens. Bowl two for the geranium. Stop it, Wimpy. That geranium will go right through my roof. Too late, Olive. It's going through already. Yeah, and look at that there ceiling. It just seems to melt right away. Away! Up you go. Hey, bowl. That geranium must reach all the way to the clouds. Do you suppose it really reaches all the way up to giant land? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Anybody else coming? Sure. We all climbs up this geranium with you. Come on, lead the way, matey. Gracious me, just look. Nothing but fields and fields of clouds. Of course. This is giant land. Well, let's go. I am interested to go looking for these here giants. Come on, mate. My, oh, my, what a gorgeous castle. Hey, look, everybody. There's a sign on the door. Well, did you ever? It says, G. Giant Esquire, no trespassing. Anybody by the name of Jack, keep out. This means you. There ain't none of us by the name of Jack. Ah, but it says this means you. Say, I didn't come all the way up here for nothing. I'd want to see a giant. Spoke like a giant killer, matey. Knock on the door and let's go in. Just a minute, I'll be there. Hell, up at the Lady Giant. Ain't you little thing about the size of a Mack truck? Oh, hi there, lady. Yeah. Human beings again. You shouldn't have come up here. However, did you do it? We climbed up here on the stem of a pot of geranium. Geranium, huh? Well, that's 
last time it was a beanstalk. Heaven knows what next. Well, we came up here to see a giant. That's where you made your big mistake. Especially if any of you are named Jack. We are not even related to any Jack. Well, in that case, come on in. Have a seat. My husband, Mr. G. Giant Esquire, should be here any minute. I suppose, Mrs. Giant, if any of us were named Jack, your husband would eat him. Oh, my, no. Never. Anyone named Jack would give him violent indigestion. Delay there, delay. <laughs> you mean we agreed with this here giant's digesting? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. You look a little tough now, but you can be made into a fricassee. She's going to feed us to the giant. Now, let's see, miss. Uh, you ought to make a very nice chicken patty. Uh, if you think I, I'm any mushroom, you're mistaken. I'm a toadstool, and I'm very poisonous. Oh, dear. Oh, mercy me. I can just see poor little me all covered with Kareem sauce. You just shouldn't have come up here. It's your own fault. Listen. Mercy, what do I hear? That's probably Mr. Giant coming home for his dinner. He stopped a minute to tie up his horse. Oh, Mrs. Giant, please. Please have mercy. Hide us somewhere. I don't want to be at. I'm very tender-hearted. At least the storybook says so. But now I, I don't know what to do. There surely must be some secret nook or cranny where they can hide it. Well, uh, get under the table here. Meantime, I'll try to do something. Quick, scramble. Go ahead. <laughs> Quiet, everybody. Here he comes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm home, my little turtle dove, and I'm hungry. And dinner's been ready half an hour. Pull up your chair. All right, my little chickadee. <laughs> I thought so. I knew I smelled something. Come here before I drag you out. Help! You're squeezing me! Uh, mercy, please, sir. I assure you I'm inedible. Look here, you slob. Let go my ear before I box you one. Ah, and by my beard, what's this? I'm not Jack. I'm Mady. I'm Popeye's pal. Oh, please, dear husband. I beseech you. They wandered up here by mistake. They're not good to eat. They said so themselves. I'll be the judge of that. That's what you think. But I'm a going to swing one on your nose. Here I goes. Hey, you're twisting my toes. Let go my toes, you're honeybee. I can't breathe. Let go, I say. And whilst I'm a swinging on your nose, I gives you me short jab. Oh, this small violet has a mighty punch. Yeah, and when I get me favorite cereal, I lays you among the sweepies. First, you have to get the chance. I'm going to jam your head into yonder jug and jam it in tight. Come here. Heavens, Popeye is wedged in yonder crock. Now I cannot give him his favorite cereal. And you, Kippy or Skippy or whatever your name is, get into this coal box. Yes, oh, dear, whatever's going to happen next? Uh, now I think I'll begin my meal with this young man here. Uh, well, it's a good thing I haven't had any of Popeye's favorite cereal lately. Why, maybe whatever you were talking about. Shh, I'm trying to fool a giant. What do you mean, cereal, lad? Well, if I'd had some favorite cereal, I'd make a wonderful dinner for you. As it is, you won't get much satisfaction out of eating me. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's right, matey. I'm glad I didn't give you any. Well, this cereal of what you speak really makes the lad into a good meal? Oh, just the tenderest, most delicious morsel you ever ate. Well, give him some. Give him lots, and you shall go free. All right, matey. Come and get it. I hate to do this, but a girl must look out for herself. It's all right, Olive. I'll gladly do this for you. My requirements are two bowls. Two bowls are coming up. Yum, yummy, yum, yummy, yum. It's wheat tina. <laughs> two bowls in a hurry for Maisie. 
Now look at me, Musco. Uh, Both tell me, lad. That cereal was supposed to make you tender, not to give you muscles. That's what you think. Look out, here comes Matey the Giant Killer. Help! 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 It's Jack in disguise. Run, husband, run. I might have known it was Jack. You and Dad are making a run around the room. I'll get him. Turn his trip, my balls. I'll throw this chair at him. on the tray. A bit of fruit juice and a bowl of wheatina and milk. Well, that's what I'm getting at, nurse. So the patient gets wheatina, does he? Well, why wheatina, if I may ask, a busy girl? <laughs> Two reasons, Mr. Cross-Examiner. <laughs> because a wheat cereal like wheatina helps to restore a patient's strength. Yes. And because most patients like the taste of it. Most every hospital I ever worked in has had wheatina on its menu. You don't say. Wait till I get to a microphone and tell that to the world. Oh, here we are. You know, folks, it isn't likely that hospitals buy foods blindly, now is it? Chances are they know what they're doing. Well, take a tip from them. The same strength that Wheatina pours into a convalescent patient, it gives to a hard-playing boy or girl. Yes, and to a hard-driven daddy. And you can get it right in your own home any day for breakfast. Eat it now. Serve it now. Let it help to keep you full of zip and light, you and your whole family. I am what I am. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. 